People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. In the room! This other time... What I do? My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Listen to me, I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. The Atlantic recently published an article entitled Video Games Are Better Without Stories, which attempted to say that film, television, and literature all tell stories better than video games, which begs the question, why are games still obsessed with narrative? And this actually made me a tad angry because one, I think video game stories as they exist today are actually pretty good. And two, I believe the capabilities for video game stories transcend those told by movies, television, and even books. Here's the thing. If you were to take all of the best video game stories and compare them to all of the best stories told in movies, television, and literature, video games would pale in comparison, easily. But that is because video games have existed as a medium for a much shorter time. If you were to compare movies to books, for example, the best stories would easily be identifiable in books because written literature has been around for much longer than film. This is a matter of longevity and grandness of the catalog to pull from. There are more books that exist than movies that exist than games that exist. So currently, you will find the best stories told in mediums outside of games. The youth of video games should also be taken into account. Video games are still a fairly new medium. This means that developers and storytellers within that medium still need to figure out how to tell the best stories in that medium. Video games are interesting because along with narrative, gameplay needs to be taken into account. However, as much as this can be a hindrance, I believe this is also the greatest strength that games have in regards to storytelling. The fact that the very nature of games involves the audience interacting with the medium provides unique storytelling opportunities that television, movies, and books simply do not have. Books are special in the fact that the medium is limited to expressing a story through written words, which means the storyteller has the ability to tell a story in its most unaltered and pure form, and the reader has a more active role interpreting that story. Movies are special because they take that written story and convert it into an on-screen experience that can be seen and heard. Video games take the next step by allowing the player to have agency, which allows for the storyteller to do a few different things. The first thing is to give the player choice. It said, war, war, never changes. Men do, through the roads that they walk. Choice works in a couple of different ways in video games. There is narrative choice and there is gameplay choice. Narrative choice is common to see in telltale games, RPGs, adventure games, and similar experiences. They, as you probably expect, allow involvement in the narrative. As a player, you're allowed to truly embody and control the protagonist in a story, something that is truly exclusive to video games. You are allowed to make choices on their behalf and suffer the benefits or consequences. The story may play out differently because you chose one response over another, and those choices can weigh on you. For example, there is a moment in Life is Strange where your narrative choices up to that moment are the deciding factor on whether or not one of your classmates in-game commits suicide. My personal reaction to that moment was heartbreak. I, as a player, had the ability to prevent that, but I failed, and I had to live with that. No book or movie can make me feel the way I felt in that moment. It wasn't just sadness, anger, or happiness. It was personal guilt that I felt because of the results of my actions. Along with choice, the way video games also use pacing in regards to storytelling is different from any other medium. I've been thinking, when life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade, make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? This is because the pacing can be left entirely up to the player. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example, is a game that everyone will experience differently. Thus, the order in which the game's story unravels for each player is different. In Horizon Zero Dawn, I have the choice on whether I want to continue pursuing the A-plot of the narrative at any given moment, 
or trail off and decide to chat with strangers I meet in the world. Movies and books are stuck with the pacing that the writer gives them, but user intervention changes the whole idea of pacing within video games. What do we say to them, little lamb? Long live the people! Long live the Fox Popular! The most unique quality when it comes to video games and storytelling is environment. Of course, literature often paints a setting for the reader to visualize and movies deal with sets that scenes need to take place in, but this is much different from video games. Video games have to often create worlds for the player to explore and get lost in, and every detail in these worlds have the ability to contribute to a story or at the very least not seem foreign to the story that a game is trying to tell. In Bioshock, Every inch of that world is telling me what happened inside that world, and that world is open for me to explore and peek at every inch. I have the ability to wander and take in the story of the environment myself, unlike in any other medium. Breath of the Wild is a game where the entire story is told by taking in the environment and exploring it. This is something that can only be done in video games, and it is why video games are special and important as a storytelling medium. Of course, video games are young. Video games are often immature even, but their importance to stories cannot be overstated. Through choice, pacing, and environment, video games provide unique storytelling opportunities that can only be done in that specific medium. So don't ever let anyone tell you that video games are better without stories. Until next time. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Your feedback is important to us. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. You can find similar videos, podcasts, and articles on OKBeast.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at OKBeastNow. For everything games and culture related, make sure to keep it locked right here on OKBeast.